So, uh, Noelle's coming, right? I believe so. Okay. Uh, I did. I did manage to find the, the roulette Doritos again. Sweet. Although I feel like the chip elimination system is not working. Kind of makes it hard. I feel like it should just be pure punishment for losing the point. Just to, what if like it's like step on your toe or something? Yeah, you know, like the hot chip. It, it, that's that's your motivation not to screw up the argument. You know, I, I feel like that might work better for us. And I'll just keep points as we go. Points wise, yeah, you know, I'll just keep points. Okay. So, I mean, that is easier, you know. That way, you know, yeah. you got the most tallies. Because you can still lose the debate. Yeah, but you may not lose a life. Yeah, I mean, the lose the life thing is kind of complicated. We're making it harder than it has to be. It's We're just you want to avoid yeah. a spicy chip. That's why you want to argue well, and then That's you don't right. want to lose the game. Yeah. And me, the host, I'm going to eat the chip because I'm hungry and they're tasty. Regardless. I, I don't think they're that spicy compared to you two. Mm. I don't find most it's things that spicy. Sometimes it's hard to, hard to like find it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just reach from the bag. We're all we're all friends here. Mm. As soon as Noel gets here, I'm gonna go ahead and have one. Where'd you get these? Food line. Mm. And I immediately hit the hot one. Mm. Those are good though. They're like Cool Ranch and spicy because I got Cool Ranch this time. Mm. It's very good. Mm. Like using mm. ranch to cool it down. Yeah. Man. Well, we got some time before Noel gets here. Yeah, was, yeah we're, we've been on the mic, man. Oh, wow. We're just arguing. Good thing I didn't say anything bad. Yeah, we should probably get through like our newest sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by the Piggly Wiggly. Do you live in Alabama? <laughs> Do you need groceries? Then go to the Piggly Wiggly. Wiggle yourself down there, get your food. And now back to the show. Anyway. Um, first of all, shout out to... Oh, there's Noel. Shout out to Noel. Shout out to Bad Mom's Christmas. <laughs> Mom's Christmas. Mm-hmm. You, you're over there. I'm host. I'm back in my rightful place as host for this episode. Yeah, shout out to Bad Mom's Christmas. Bad Mom's Christmas. I highly, highly recommend. I would even say it's comparable to James Cameron's 2009 oh Avatar. I forgot the in 3D. 3D. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's like neck and neck with that. Hey, unpopular opinion. I'm super stoked for the sequel. Like, I know everybody on the internet is hating even, on it. I, I love it. I got even more excited because The Weeknd has a song for the Avatar movie. Ooh, yeah. they're pulling out all the stops. They are. Now, here's the obvious question. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's going to be as much nudity in this one? Now that it's owned by Disney? What are you talking about? Well, in the first one, they were like... There was nudity. Like, the Na'vi were, like, naked. I don't remember. It was weird. It's, it's just one. It's just one. Memorable. Though. Yeah. Am I? I'm not gonna lie. I'm really excited to give some gifts. So. Oh, did you bring gifts? Yeah, I have it. I mean, I'm missing okay. your one, but. That's fine. I don't. Yeah. I don't require any presents. I'm just saying. Y'all's friendship is gift enough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're one of those, huh? Yeah, for yeah. real. But Marshall doesn't lie, so I, I don't I feel like, like that's truthful. I'm just happy to be here. Uh, my gifts, I'm gonna have to give it to y'all at the end of the episode. At the end, uh, yeah, because like I'm like excited. Well, Marshall already got mine. Yeah. 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 So uh, I, I guess got you a little extra something. It was a lot of mine. Okay, I appreciate that. I have been I'm, I've been enjoying the Bob Ross advent calendar because mm. I'm gonna be honest with y'all it's the most unhinged thing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> One, all the voice recordings they have of Bob Ross on there, uh-huh. yep. Thank you, Thank completely grainy and very creepy sounding. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Which is great, and it's all positive affirmations in his, like you know his voice. Mm. So I'd be like, you can move mountains, you can move trees. It's your world. <laughs> and I'll be like, what? The second day, it told me to throw a paint party <laughs> with his supplies. I was like, okay. Did you do that yet? No, I haven't done that yet. Anyway, I have a paint party if you want to come to it. Mm. It was actually my mom's business sorry, for a long time. It looks good, Justin. Oh. It does look good. You want a chicken tender? No. Then I got an ornament, and it was his face. It was his face? It was his face with a Santa hat on it. Even better. Um... Yeah, all the, all the recordings have been really weird. Hold on, let me see if I can't play one for y'all. I want the listeners to hear this. So I um, I double breaded this chicken. I did oh, yeah? egg, breadcrumbs, uh, egg breadcrumbs. 
Yeah, uh, that's a good way of doing it. Mm-hmm. Gives you an extra crunch and extra shell. Mm-hmm. It tasted yes. better last night. Well, uh, fried chicken's like that. It's always like that. Mm. God, where is it? I'm never like really impressed with leftovers. Either. Here we go. Yeah, that's really good. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. And then the day 25 is Bob Ross with a Santa Claus hat on his afro. That is awesome. I cannot wait for day 25. Well, let me see if I can find the other one because they are all equally. I'm, I am really glad that you're getting this enjoyment out of it. I am. This is fun for me. I'm not going to lie. Thank you. That's little Bob Ross. Yeah, it was a little Bob Ross. That's pretty cool. Did you put them on your tree? I did put them on the tree. Bob Ross is on my tree. Nice. I'm trying to find the other one where it was like a voice recording because it was weird. Nice. Oh, here we go. It's the same song each time, by the way. Oh, well, no, but I took Christmas. Increase level as we give food to the next one. I mean. It sounds really creepy. That is pretty <laughs> He's breathing pretty heavily the whole time, too. <laughs> That's pretty creepy. It's like someone snuck up behind me and saying this to me. It's it's not even, not even like distinctly Bob Ross. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's like some guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. A couple of them Named don't... Bob Ross, also. <laughs> it's funny. It's like a couple of them have been uh, just... You open it up and it's like, hey, here's a positive affirmation. And those ones kind of bum me out. I want more of the voices because the voices are cracking me up every day. Mm. So thanks for the gift. I've loved it. <laughs> Unironically. Well, I'll get us kicked off. Let's start yeah. with a card. Oh, you got us a card? No, well, man. I didn't like especially get that. Aww, it's just like a standard, ah. Aww, look standard at that. Christmas. Oh, we got one more week. Oh, pretty at Walmart. Yeah. Pretty at Walmart. We spent the big money. Mm-hmm. Oh my! Oh wait, God. Devin marked me down last year because I didn't give him a Christmas card. I need to do that. Oh, that's right. That's right. I gotta start doing Christmas yeah. cards. I'm married now. Oh, yeah. Did you guys? Well, you guys have a wedding photo this year, but this is the only year you can use it. It's just weird. To use <laughs> if it I use it multiple year. years, you use it all the time. Yeah, that's pretty weird. All right. Well, thank you, Justin. No, thank you. Cool. I know you're eating, but I'm like, I just kind of want you to open. Like, okay, sure. This is for you. It's a oh, cool bag. Okay, oh, bag. what's this? Yeah. You want it back? No, you can have it. Oh, he got me some tissue paper. Yeah, mm. there's something in there. Oh, okay. My hands are gigantic. <laughs> ah, mashed potatoes. You got just the mashed potatoes. Is there something this in here? A, yeah. A, uh, yeah one of those ready and mint. Uh, add milk, butter, and salt. Yeah. And I have a feeling that the next thing is going to be a French fry or something. You got me a Mothman pin. There's That's two awesome. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you, Noel. Mothman? Yeah. Mothman. Sweet. It's a magnet? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is amazing. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> this is what you Hang know? On. These are from Germany? And <laughs> a moth good. and a Mothman yeah. pin. Wow, that's I'm, pretty sweet looking. I really want to question why Germany is selling Mothman. The official pin. <laughs> okay, so they had really good reviews. And I mean, I feel like, you know, I gotta, you know, put you in the Mothman sphere. I thought, you know, you both could have like a little Mothman with you. So does that mean Germany knows what Mothman is? <laughs> <laughs> that's my question. Gotta make this like a little zip hole. Oh, Mothman's awesome. gone international. <laughs> I was really worried though. I was like, is it gonna come here? Huh? It made it. Well, like I said, mine yeah, is gonna, gonna be for the end right. of the episode. Sweet. But then most importantly though, so the Mothman equivalent for me, even though I got the Mothman pin, mm-hmm. is this uh magnet of Will Arnett's head. Yeah, that's so funny. And I absolutely in love with that. <laughs> That is so good. I love that so much. I just want to let you know, they also sell, people make pillows with this face on it. Really? Yeah, so. That's amazing. Oh, that is really good. So, um, 
But I didn't know how your wife would feel about a Will Arnett. That's somehow. amazing. So I thought I'd just stick to the well, Just roll there. over and creepily do this <laughs> that face staring at you. Oh, well, it depends. Is it a pillow pillow or is it a body pillow? <laughs> we'll learn no. that. Because <laughs> if not, I don't know what I'm getting you for your birthday, bud. Yeah. <laughs> the whole body pillow. Well, thank you. That's, I'm uh, going to find one. These are, these are fantastic gifts. Sweet. This is a sick I just had to eat mashed potatoes. Mm. Well, I'll have to have some french fries. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, well, this is uh, this is for you. Okay. Bro, this is uh, from the both of us. Uh, okay. It's all over. What is this? A backpack? You all got me a freaking backpack. We did. Who will be getting you gifts? <laughs> <laughs> I uh. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna be honest. I forgot I went in on this gift. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought two. <laughs> oh, you bought one also. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Oh my god. I have this well, problem this is, where I forget I pay for this things. This is going <laughs> to the next time I go to Disney. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, thank or you, you can sell the way for your, for your ticket to Disney. <laughs> you <laughs> no. can put it on Mercury. It'll be on Mercari this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> It's your thing at this point. <laughs> Flip it, make money. <laughs> uh, that is awesome. I had fun like finding stuff. This is like nice I said, fun. you have one more thing coming. Even though I'm oh, putting it on the advent calendar. I just had to get you something silly. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, one second, we gotta start the show. Yeah, I'm mm. sorry. I got so excited. I love giving people gifts. Oh, no, that's fair. <laughs> Warning! You are about to start listening to Punch the Clock, a podcast hosted by three self proclaimed cooperate professionals Marshall, Justin, and Noel, recorded entirely in their company's break room. Marshall claims to be the perfect man, but if that's his idea of perfection, I'd hate to see what imperfect is. Justin claims to be Will Arnett's best friend, however a restraining order says otherwise. And Noelle believes she is a Disney princess, but we've never seen a crown. Finally, warning, please leave the show now, before the podcast starts in three, two... One. Welcome to Punch a Clock, the only podcast that understands the true meaning of Christmas, and that's gifts. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> I'm your host today, Marshall, and I'm Justin, and I'm Noel, and uh, yeah, we're doing another episode of the Hot Text because we've fallen in love with this format. It's very it's, easy. Oh, this game's been awesome. Now there is a twist for today. We decided to retweak the format while Noel wasn't here. Uh, now we're playing for points because the lives thing doesn't really work that well. And uh, eating one of the chips is a punishment for losing the argument. So that's your motivation to not uh, to not suck at the argument. You got to reach into the bag and grab a chip if you lose oh, okay. an argument. The name of the game is Don't Suck. Yeah, Don't Suck. Now, in addition to today, in a rare feat, you will be competing for your gifts. Oh, whoever wins, whoever wins, I have two gifts here of equal value. Two wildly different things. And whoever wins gets to pick their first pick of the gifts. I swear to God, there better be Oreo balls in one of those bags. Oh, yeah, you like those? Yeah, they were really good. Oh, okay, I'll bring them in for, like, Christmas or something. I swear, those better be in one of the... You can find the recipe. I wish weren't at work because I would use some language that would describe my passionate enjoyment of those Oreo balls. No, oh, recipe's on my YouTube channel, Marshall I, Johnson. I know, but it's it's more fun eating them than... Yeah, the I don't want to make them. No, oh, okay. Well, I am. Uh, I was a dessert chef at one point. Anyway, what? No, I'm ready. You you gave me a look when I said dessert chef. Like, no, you weren't. What? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am. A little out of it. I'm on a lot of allergy medicine. <laughs> Good. Glad we got that fixed for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So today's format, same thing. I'm going to ask questions. They're going to be arguing for or against something. At the end of it, we will declare a winner, and they will become the. Question asker, mm-hmm. creator, slash yeah, host next week. I on my shirt. Sorry. That's probably disgusting. I didn't even notice oh, that, okay. to be honest with you. I did <laughs> <had> myself. <laughs> okay. You caught out of car in my eye. <laughs> you have enough oh, room over there? Yeah, I'm good. Out. No, I'm good. All right. Uh, but as always, we're going to do this random, and we're going to switch, because that's how I do it as host. So pick a number between 1 and 10. 9.25. All right, I didn't call me first, but Noel. Three. <laughs> Three. Noel was closer. Congratulations. <laughs> what was the number? The number was five. Ah. 
right down the middle. I always, always go right down the middle. Mm. And y'all have not figured it out till now. So here's the first thing. Noelle, you're going to be arguing for this. Justin, you're going to be arguing against. Okay. Noelle, you will be arguing as to why we should nuke the ocean supply of whales. I knew you were going to do this one because you mentioned it last time. Yes, and it was such a good question. <laughs> So, uh, oh, I forgot to get the why timer. Sorry, I'm against it. Why am I nuking whales? You are for nuking the world supply of whales. Uh, let me get the timer. As in the underwater. All the whales in the ocean, we're nuking them. Why nuking? Why are we going to nuke them? You want us to nuke the whales, Noel? Well, why? <laughs> this is your argument. I'm already going to lose this one. It's not as hard as you think. There's some good arguments. Um, Justin, you will be arguing as to why we should not nuke all I the whales. I that one. It would be way easier. Well, you shouldn't have won the... <laughs> the Should have picked 9.25. Right. <laughs> no. Noelle, your time starts now. All right. We should be nuking the world supply of whales because we need to free up the ocean space. We need to have way more ocean space for us to do our inventions, discoveries, also take over the oceans. Maybe we want to build, like, ocean cities. But if we didn't have whales... It would make us a lot more easy to do this because they would just get in the way. They could run into things. They could cause harm to humans. Mm. It, they're huge. A lot of them are ginormous. We can't have that going around the ocean system. <laughs> I yield the rest of my time. Fair enough. That's a very concise argument. Um, well, I'm sorry, I lost my timer, folks. Okay, sorry. Now, Justin, you're going to argue as to why we should not use nuclear bombs to get rid of the world's supply of whales. <laughs> Starting now. Well, what I'll say is, sorry, I'm eating my lunch here. <laughs> <laughs> what I'll say is this, that while we shouldn't use nukes to destroy the <laughs> whale population, we should decide on a different method to do this. Here's why. Here's why. Our sea levels are, in fact, measurably rising. We need to reduce the volume. And in order to compensate with that, we need to remove some of the largest animals from from the sea. Wait. So while, while the nuke you're might not... You're against it. You're against killing the whales, bud. You're against killing the whales. You're not supposed to be no. arguing for killing them. <laughs> So you said nukes. You said nukes. <laughs> okay, you argue why we shouldn't use nukes. Yeah, don't do- use nukes. Use something else. <laughs> okay. Let's not use nukes. <laughs> Let's do it in a more ethical way. You have the easiest I yield the rest of my time. <laughs> you have the easiest one ever. You just get old. He's just like, no. He's like, no, I'm going about nukes. The way... The way that you asked the question was why we shouldn't use nukes to do it. <laughs> I'm You're against using nukes to do it, but I'm not opposed to doing it. Okay. <laughs> Noelle, you have a, what do we normally say, 15 second rebuttal? Yeah. <laughs> Starting now. Again, like I said, whales will get in the way. We need the extra space in our ocean supply to actually function and create new societies through the ocean. That is all. <laughs> right. We're not going to work in the use of nukes there, huh? I mean, obviously, that's in the title. We're killing them that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best method, apparently. All right, Justin, your time for rebuttal starts Afford now. Number? Again, sustainable ways of reducing the, sea, the rising sea levels. Reduce the volume. Don't use nukes? Don't use nukes. Just do it a different way. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, <laughs> this was a surprisingly pro kill whales argument. <laughs> I didn't see it going that way. <laughs> hey, you gonna, asked the question. <laughs> I'm going to go with Noelle because she actually had an argument to kill him, and you were just like, yeah, let's kill him, but not with you. <laughs> you could have just said, don't kill whales. <laughs> that would have been acceptable. Yeah, you know, and stay. This is why I lose this game. <laughs> you just like going different directions. I do. You're like, like yeah, we, we should do it. <laughs> 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 Let's do it a better way than nuking them. <laughs> I mean, fair. All right. 
Sorry, I'm saving these into my phone, so they're preset now. Mm. Okay. Justin, you're going to be arguing for this. Noelle, you're against it. Mm. Justin, we should increase the level of global warming. Okay. All right. Your time starts now. Who likes a blissfully cold winter? Nobody. If we single-handedly, everyone, contribute to the rise of global warming, we will be in a much greater place. Because let's let's face it, the world revolves around the East Coast and the colder areas of the East Coast. <laughs> so I think that if we raise global warming, <laughs> we'll single-handedly uh, change that. Okay. I yield the rest of my time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to elaborate on that. All right. <laughs> Noelle, you are against causing more global warming <laughs> starting now. Do you want to ruin our ozone layer even more? Do you want our society to collapse as a whole? If global warming continues to rise, human race will die. We got to protect our whole world and make sure we are not adding any more fuels, garbage, whatever into it. Already the ice is melting very fast. Animals in Antarctica and Arctic are struggling to survive. We need to end this. Stop it now. All right. I'm assuming you're yielding the rest of your time. Yes. Justin's eating that chip you were supposed to eat last round. Oh, my bad. That was a spicy one, by the way. No, good. Mm. Glad you got hurt. So was mine. <laughs> Glad you got her. I, I almost, I almost, dang. It almost makes me think that you dumped that whole bag out. You picked out all the non spicy ones and then put the he spicy did. ones back I in. I don't did. know how I would do that, but he, they all look the same. Yeah. I like them. Just licking <laughs> everyone. <laughs> spicy. Spicy. <laughs> all right, Justin, you have a 15 second rebuttal starting now. Look. We're here for a short period of time. We may as well enjoy it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Noelle, your rebuttal starts now. <laughs> Again, do we want to destroy the ozone layer? Do we want to cause rising heat waves? No. We want to save human race. We want to make sure our planet lasts millions of more years. The end. All right. That was uh, actually a very close one for me. Uh I'm actually going to give it to Justin because he appealed to my East Coast superiority. <laughs> what? That was his main argument was uh, we're going to make the East Coast better. Everything revolves around the East, East Coast. Coast. Uh, Noel, you also tried to appeal to my humanity. Unfortunately, I am a nihilist and believe in the destruction of all well, humans. I demand a recall because I gave a great argument. Yeah, I mean, no one said it was a bad yeah. argument. It just wasn't the winning one. So go ahead and have your chip. <laughs> I demand a new judge. <laughs> well, next week you'll you get are. one. <laughs> Unless I win the game. Uh, All right. Let's see. Noelle, you're going to be arguing for this. Justin, yeah. you're going to be arguing against. Noelle, yeah. we should find a Loch Ness monster. Mm. That's yeah. it. It's very Starting now. Okay. Yeah. We should find the Loch Ness monster to like stop the question questionable stuff anymore. Loch Ness monster has been around for years. It's a myth, a legend that people are trying to find. Once we find it, I feel like it's a you know put some people's minds at rest and also add a, another nice little mystery at Earth because we don't know everything. The end. Fair enough. <laughs> Justin, you're arguing why we should not find the Loch Ness Monster starting now. So, this is a, a wild comparison, but two arguments ago you argued why we should overtake the ocean. And now we want to protect it? I don't think so. We need to leave the Loch Ness Monster alone. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> we need to leave the Loch Ness Monster alone. Because otherwise that will single-handedly single-handedly take down Scotland's participation at Bush Gardens. And we do not <laughs> want to infringe on what Bush Gardens has to offer and its representation and Scotland's representation there. We need to let folklore be folklore and reality be reality. So I say we leave Loch Ness alone. We let the story continue. 
throughout the course of time, and uh, and we let Nessie be. I yield my time. It's actually pretty concise, are you? <laughs> uh, Fifteen second rebuttal starts now. The West. Bush Gardens would only become more popular because Nessie would be found. They could make a lot more merch, sell a lot more things, make more ride specific items. I feel like it's a win win. I think everybody would be happy. You know, people over there searching for logs. Oh, that's your time. Justin, rebuttal starting now. The draw is mystery. <laughs> With no mystery, there's no draw. And that will single handedly crush Scotland's economy. It's almost like as if Mothman were removed and, and decimated time. from West Virginia. Ooh. It will single handedly decimate. Unfortunately, none of this counts after Mothman. If only you worked it in the beginning of your statement. Mm. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I am going to have to. While you had one of your best arguments to date, I am had to award the point to Noel. Uh, Nessie actually does not live in the ocean; they live in a lake, and I had to deduct points for that. Oh, because that's it's what a lock, lock is. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. some body of water. Now, I do approve of the Mohawk Man defense. If you got in within the timer, you probably would have won the argument. But the judges are not going to allow that. Damn it! So if you could just have your chip. <laughs> Okay. So far, some strong arguments. I'm loving it. I think this is a spicy one. Uh, yeah. Or it's an extremely yeah, ranch it's one. red on it. It's red on this one. You have mm. a big one. That was good. Okay. That was just pure ranch, too. That's what was spicy. next? All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love how this has happened. Noel, you will be arguing for this. Justin, you'll be arguing against. Noel, we should remove Maryland as a state. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. Are you from there? I was born there. Mm. Okay. Nothing wrong with Maryland. <laughs> well, you better start hating it starting now. Um, move Maryland from the United States. It's very small. It doesn't really add a lot. Um, it's all good arguments. It's- Honestly, I mean, does anybody even know when they drive in it? It's like 15 seconds. So I feel like it should just be knocked off. It's just one of those things that you just don't even need to worry about. It doesn't really have much to offer either. I mean, yeah, it may got some oceans and mountains, but so does every other state. Virginia has the same. Virginia is a far superior and worse state. Ooh. So that's all I'm going to say. All right. Uh, strong points from Noel. Uh, she did bring up the fact that Maryland is a trash state. Justin, you have <laughs> a one minute start argument now as to why we should keep Maryland as a state. We need to keep Maryland up as a state because it will take too much work to replace all the flags with 49 states. Mm-hmm. Rewrite lyrics to n- numerous uh, songs of national compassion and um, I mean why remove it why remove it we want to keep <laughs> say that one more time <laughs> we why keep, we want to keep Maryland <laughs> and yeah it's it's got a funny name and a funny shape but I mean you know we all can't be North Dakota which is a bomb it is true. I, I think that it. What does that have to do with Maryland? Because the East Coast is superior, and without Maryland, it's true. The East Coast is. It, oh, that would be your one minute time. <laughs> God, why, no, well, why can I defend Maryland? It's so easy. <laughs> it's my is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, you have a fifteen second rebuttal as why we should get rid of it. Again, it's a very small state. It doesn't really mean or add anything more to it. Honestly, we could expand maybe Pennsylvania and Virginia. Ooh. Why not? Mm. Make it a much larger state. And, and that's your time. Justin, rebuttal now. Maryland, keep. It is the glue <laughs> that binds the north from the north. And the south from the south. It's a buffer state. And brings them into one to form a strong east coast. Mm. 
That was actually much tougher than I thought it'd be. <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, I'm going to have to give the point to Noel because Maryland is a trash state. <laughs> it should be removed. He should have been like, it has the mountains, it has the plains, and it has crabs. the ocean. Like, and if, crabs. Said crabs. Honestly, if you brought up the crabs, you probably would have won. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Oh, well, what can you do? It's okay. I didn't even know what to say. Honestly, you can have it. You can have everything. a chip. And that's the point of the game, you know? Sometimes we got to make stuff up. We're going to take a brief intermission. That was very brief. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, I thought we were really aware. No, why? Do you need an intermission? No, no, you no, no, got no, something no. you got to do? Oh, okay. I'm here. Justin, you're going to be <laughs> arguing for this one. Noel, you're going to be arguing against. <laughs> Justin, we should remove me completely from the show. <laughs> I'm saying that we should. <laughs> you should. Your time starts now. This is a very personal question. I don't know if you should answer. I yield the rest of my time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bold statement. <laughs> Noel, I would okay. Starting now, why should we keep me? You sh- we should keep you. You helped originate this show. You put it in the thought, time, effort, process into making the show last as long as it has. I mean, how many episodes have we done? Lots. More than two. Yes, and the fact that you've had so much hard work, dedication, and time to edit, post. And continually do this on a weekly basis shows how much you are of a hard worker and you don't give up on anything. Hmm. Is that that your, it. that your time? Okay. Yeah. Okay, there was a strong points. Justin, you have a chance to turn around 15 seconds. That's why would you get rid of me? Keep in mind, you are playing for a present. <laughs> oh, for the same dollar value. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're different presents, though. I yield the rest of my time. <laughs> this is a bold strategy. I do love it. Less is more. <laughs> All right, Noel. <laughs> 15 second rebuttal. But again, you were the creator, one of the creators of this show. So mm-hmm. without you, it would kind of be empty. What would this podcast be, honestly? Mm, fair enough. Damn. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give this argument to Justin. Yes. Good argument, bud. Less Sometimes is less more. is more. Less is more. Also, if I were to give it to Noel, the game would end immediately because you would have lost. <laughs> I, 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 was better. I just wanted compliments from Noel. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fishing expedition. <laughs> it was. Fishing for Thanks, compliments. Thanks, Noel. I just needed a confidence boost. Yeah, that's Made funny. it all up. Ow. Oh. said this game is to make everything up. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, bonus point for Noel. Justin, take a ship. <laughs> The fun of it was burning me. Mm. <laughs> it's called a roast. I could. I'm a fair sport. I couldn't, you know, go down that hill like that. Just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Noel Yargon for this. Werewolves are more dangerous than vampires. Mm. Justin, you'll be arguing that vampires are more dangerous than werewolves. Okay. All right. Your time starts now. Are more dangerous than vampires because they have no control over when they turn over into a werewolf. Ooh. So that makes them way more dangerous. They have they have no idea when they might just freak out, be a werewolf, go crazy, kill people, and then they're human again. Vampires, on the other hand, they can go on and off. They have day and night. Also, they um, can also control their urge of sucking other people's blood. Where Warwolf, when you turn into one, you're going crazy. You're trying to find the next person to rip their head off. Way more dangerous. Mm. Tip. Tip. Yep. You yield? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're yielding. All right, Justin, I'm why are vampires... <laughs> no, it's all good. I'm trying to get all their thoughts in there. Justin, you're arguing why vampires are more dangerous than werewolves. Just to be clear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like they're both things. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Vampires present an inherent <laughs> danger to basically the humans that they live around. Whereas werewolves are naturally kind of drawn to the wild. Vampires are inherently drawn to humans. So they present a a more immediate, imminent threat to people as opposed to werewolves that can kind of blend into nature and the wilderness and they're more drawn to their natural habitat in that way. The vampire natural habitat is still amongst humans and it presents that imminent danger. I yield the rest of my time. Ooh. 
sleeper cell vampires and see that argument coming. 15 second rebuttal starting now. Alright, werewolves run in packs, so when they run in packs, that means more killing. Okay? Vampires, again, are very, they work as one. And that is all usually. They're loners. Werewolves are always together. And when they turn, they have no control. And time. Starting now, Justin. I think that vampires or vamps. <laughs> vamps. Take the cake in danger. All you need is one. You don't need a pack. Okay. <laughs> Oof, that was actually good arguments from both of you. <laughs> oh, What's the score right now? I think y'all are... I want to say y'all are tied, aren't you? I think so. No, actually, you're down by one, Justin. Um, yeah, I gotta say the whole solo to take down actually won me over. Justin won the argument on that one. The rebuttal Take took down it. solo? Yeah, you're saying they work alone. That is pretty dangerous to work alone. Yeah, they don't need to... can just flip and kill people. Yeah, but they don't need to work in a pack. It, they look, it, it was a coin flip in my head. You're only doing that to make the game go longer. I know my topic one better, so... Oof. Harsh. Damn. Eat your chip. <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, next Next topic we got. Justin, you're going to be arguing as to four. Noel against. The topic is Pluto is a planet. I'm arguing for that. You believe Pluto is a planet. It should be called a planet. Starting now. Pluto should be so let me just say this before this debate I, I was talking with my buddy Captain Planet <laughs> alright you remember Captain Planet from yeah, from, uh, from the 90s he can do it no one can he he likes to go to Pluto to recharge his batteries so you know just to kind of get some R&R like that's his uh his place to go, so I'm gonna I'm gonna support my buddy Captain Planet um, because he's for conserving the planet, no matter what planet it is, and he doesn't discriminate based on size or orbit or revolution or rotation. He will he likes to go to Pluto in order to just kind of you know just recharge his batteries. He's a hardworking guy, so I'm gonna say Pluto is a planet because I know from the expert, my friend himself. He recognizes Pluto as a planet, so I'll support him in that. All right. Noel, Pluto is not a planet. Why? Well, first off, Captain Planet is a cartoon character, so... Wild defense. That is... That's a cool thing, I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Pluto is not a planet because it actually orbits, like, another planet, so it would be considered a moon. So it's not revolving around the sun so that is one aspect why it got degraded from a planet um that's why there's only eight now and they found that later in the scientific sphere the end <laughs> you know we had a scientist on our hands um, <laughs> if any kids are listening to this show for knowledge or information i want to make it clear <laughs> the majority of the things we say are wrong <laughs> just in rebuttal who are we? That's actually true. Who are we <laughs> as humans in the spectrum of time and space to determine what a planet is or isn't? It's right. it's what we're considering a planet, but I think it's we still have to respect the fact that yeah, it's yeah, a well, planetary object. Again, it's not a planet because it revolves around other uh, another planet that's not the sun. So that's why I got degraded and uh, define downward, revolve. It goes around the sun. Okay. Okay, that's your time. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to give this one to Justin because, Noel, it does go around the sun. But the it revolves, atmosphere... It, it also go- revolves around another thing, but they both revolve around the sun. But the fact that that's why it's not one a planet. It goes around <laughs> another thing. That's, that's literally it. I'm going to have to give it to Justin. Yeah. All right, whatever. Chip, chip, chip. Chip, chip, chip. <laughs> you, were, you were close until you mentioned the sun. <laughs> Justin, the Captain Planet defense was not the best. Okay, well, <laughs> but, Earth goes around the sun, okay? Yes. But it's not going around another planet. The moon also goes around the sun, but it's still but going around the, the Earth. the moon is... It's, its sphere <laughs> goes around Earth. I'm pretty sure plants are defined by their size of it, too. Okay, well, um... <laughs> 
I'm going to send everybody the remedial say. Look, I took points off of him for saying Loch Ness was in the ocean. I got to take points off of you. You know what I meant, though. Come on. <laughs> I got to be fair as a judge. All right, we're going to get into a little bit of a holiday question. Oh, uh, nice. Noel, you're arguing for this. Santa's elves are compensated fairly. Justin, you will be against that. Yeah, what? They're what? Compensate it fairly. Santa's How do I know if they get paid or not? Well, you gotta say they're compensated <laughs> fairly. Your minute starts now. Um, I guess they get compensated fairly because they work for Santa. You probably get some gifts, time holiday, paid leave. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Short, concise, and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, your turn. Why are they not fairly compensated? Elves are not fairly compensated. If they were, and they were not held against their will, they would not be elves. So basically, elves, in short, are held against their will and forced to make, a, you know, work 364 days a year for the result of one day. And uh, they have no time off. They uh, don't pay taxes. Uh, they don't have any health care. And basically, they're just at the will of what's provided by the North Pole. So um, I think if they were compensated fairly, they would go work for a big toy conglomerate and make 20 times the amount of money that they're making in the North Pole. But uh, but they can't because they're they're uh, held against their will up there. All right, that's your time. Noel, 15-second rebuttal starting now. Um, obviously they like their job because they constantly been working for Santa for how long now? So I feel like they should, I feel like they are getting compensated well or else they would go to other places. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Justin, 15 second rebuttal. They are treated like misfits and forced to work and live with each other constantly and uh, forced to create their own society and block out the rest of the world and it's done with intent and malice. <laughs> right. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna give this one to Noel. <laughs> Damn. Really, I had a sucky argument. Well, Justin was basing everything off of speculation. We don't know what they're actually compensated. <laughs> I literally have no idea what to say. Either. And also, I refuse to believe Santa would employ slave labor. <laughs> <laughs> As we all know from the movie Elf, they're pretty happy up there. Yeah. Well, except for Herbie. Yeah, he Herbie. wanted to be a dentist. Yeah. But when was Herbie? Right He's the one that Rudolph. liked to make toys. Rudolph? Uh, I was talking about the movie Elf. Which one were we talking about? He wasn't in it. Oh, was that the no, claymation Rudolph. one? Yeah. 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 Oh, God, Even though there's a lot of speculation that he's not an elf because he doesn't have pointy ears. Mm. Hmm. He was the pre-buddy, the elf. Well, yeah, because Elf took a lot of... They actually yeah. got the rights from the people that created Rudolph to take like very variations of those scenes from there. Mm. Hmm. That's why they look very similar Like when he's in the North Pole. Mm-hmm. Well, good stuff. Yeah. You get the point just for that. <laughs> Damn. It's totally arbitrary and the points don't matter to people. Welcome to Who's Lines anyway. I would like to say, though, my point on Pluto was correct. Okay. I looked it up. You looked it up? Say, <laughs> All right. Even though I said the sun, but they don't have, it doesn't have a revolving wow. thing they around it. Spicy it doesn't revolve around the sun. No, it revolves around the sun, but to be a planet, you have to have other things that go around it, and it does not. So, like, it doesn't have, like, a moon, or it doesn't have any asteroids that have its own belt to go around, the, or revolve around the planet. Venus doesn't have any moons. Yes, it does. Venus has a moon? Mm-hmm. Does it have, like, 24 moons or something? You're thinking of Saturn. So, no. Saturn has a, they're all in the train. Hold on, I'm pretty sure one planet had the moon. What planet? Has no moons. Maybe it's someone closer to the sun. Mercury and Venus do not have moons. That, yeah. They're close to the sun. Okay. But they well, have asteroids and stuff that revolve around it. Well, we're going to have to go to the judges to see if we can retroactively import you a point. No, I'm just saying. Judges? <laughs> oh, no. I didn't say saying. anything, so I guess it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out I wasn't that dumb, okay? But Thank you for educating <laughs> <laughs> Tried to sacrifice your last argument just <laughs> for the one before. Well, that's the energy we love here. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. That's going to bring us to our last and tie-breaking question. Okay. Tiebreaker. I forgot who went for last time. Who was for? You were for? I went. Um, what was the last question? Yeah, I was... Uh, for uh, elves. Do they get compensated? Oh, elves. I wish okay. us. So you were against that. Yeah, you okay. think they got compensated. Justin, right. you are yeah. for this yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Justin, a hot dog is a sandwich. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I lost the timer. Do, do, do. Well, while I find this, how's everybody's lives going? Are we, we doing good? Oh, we're doing good. We are doing good. All Actually, right, your time starts it. now. A hot dog is a sandwich because bologna. A bread is a sandwich, and a hot dog is derived or uh, of the same substance as bologna. So if you can put bologna between bread and call it a sandwich, if you can put a hot dog on a bun and call it a sandwich, it's not the hot dog's fault that it's that shape, but it still lives it's not its fault. amongst a cloud of bread. And hot dog, I would say, is a sandwich. Absolutely. Okay. I, the rest of the <laughs> okay. I thought there might be more. Well, why is a hot dog not a sandwich? I've heard this about it, but I don't really. I'm going to try. A um, uh, sandwich has two slices of bread. So one on top and one on the bottom. Mm-hmm. So that kind of makes it sandwich like, where a hot dog just has a little circular bun that kind of just, you know. I'm not loving the hand motions. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> yeah. like, I didn't even I know. I'm done. I can't talk about it anymore. You were having some good points, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's because I talk with my hands, okay? So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it back in. I'm sorry. You will be awarded an extra 15 seconds. Um. <laughs> uh, we were at buns and circular shape. Oh, like it, it's a bun that goes around the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, the argument was very good for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, 15 second rebuttal starting now. A hot dog is a sandwich the same way a sub is a sandwich. You cannot say because a sub is cut, a sub's bread is cut in the same way as a hot dog bun. Therefore, a hot dog is a sandwich because a sub is a sandwich. Okay. No, well, rebuttal starting now. A sub has two slices of bread that are on top of one another. A sub is not bread. A sub has bread on it, just like a regular sandwich. A sub has bread. A hot dog is, was created differently from being a sandwich. Oof. That's, that's good arguments. A sub is one piece cut into two, such as a hot dog bun. But a hot dog bun's not cut into two. Yes, it is. No. It starts out as one. Sliced into <laughs> <Right. two. laughs> Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and award the point to Noelle on this one. I don't even know who this is. is. Uh, only because Justin ended up arguing with you in the middle of your argument. We do have to take points away for that. No, let's, I, I've you actually this. did get some points because uh, the whole sandwich in between two things is a verb, and that did make me think of that. Oh, well, that's the only thing I had going for myself. Justin no was with The hand motions were great, too, and hilarious. I wish we were a video medium. Can't win anything right yeah. here. And unfortunately, that ends the game. So, Noel, congratulations. You've won. You will be host next week or the next time we do this podcast. It is December. Yay. Justin, you were so close to winning one. I know. You were. I haven't won in, what, four weeks? In four cycles mm-hmm. of debate? No, this is, this is third. Third? Yeah. Okay. This is third one. It's all right. Next week you're arguing. Marshall made this one go longer because I think he secretly wanted you to win. Yeah, I was trying. You told me. You basically primed it. (laughs) Primed it. I'm like, you could do it. (laughs) You could do it, but I just it was mine to keep. It's okay. Let it slip away. (laughs) Look, next week you're arguing against me, and we all know I'm an idiot. So you got a good chance. (laughs) (laughs) Didn't work for me. No, well, that means uh, you are the winner. Uh, You get your first pick of presents. So choose wisely. They are two wildly different things of equal value. If you get Oreo balls, can we trade? <laughs> they are not homemade. Not damn. I'll uh, just bring you all some Oreo balls. Yeah, uh, everybody wins. I bring Oreo bars. All right. I'll take the sparkly bag. You want the sparkly yeah. bag? You sure? Oh my god, I don't know. Yeah. Mm, you said sparkly. Penguin? Oh, you want penguin? Oh 
Oh, I feel like I gave you that penguin uh, bag last year. I think you did. Oh, right? Yeah, I thought so. You want sparkly? All right. Yeah. I feel that like means Justin, this one is yours. Good oh, God. Oh, you're going to have to open that one. Are they both the same? Oh, no. no, they are different. Wildly different. You're going to have to open yours, Noel, to get it a little bit closer. A waterproof Bluetooth speaker. For your shower. Okay. What is this? Is this a burrito thing? That's a chicken soup. Pull it out. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> is this a burrito? It's a burrito blanket. It's a burrito blanket. Now you can roll yourself up like a burrito. <laughs> Justin, you now have a speaker for your shower. Sweet. That and if awesome. you guys feel like trading, feel free. You can do phone calls for me. Can I call you? If you want to from the shower. Did they put batteries in? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Your dog might like that. Would you say that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, awesome. I hope y'all enjoyed your gifts. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That was very generous. I expect photos of both y'all using them. Um, Justin, where? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is calling you not good enough? No, I'm gonna need photos. Okay. You got it, bud. <laughs> you asked for it. Now, well, once again, I was spoiled. I was hoping Brian would get the shower speaker. Oh God. <laughs> so that he, he, can send he you does. Yeah, and you have to send me photos. Make sure he's using it. Uh, ah. is it, and today's real winner is, is Brian once again. <laughs> trying to get a no little healthy there, bud. Yeah, I know. It's all good fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is awesome. Thank I can't you. catch Thank my breath. You. Oh, yeah. You want the bag? I'm almost certain I gave you this bag. I'm last almost year. certain you did. Yeah. No, the bag is yours. As we all know, no one ever gets bad buys a bag. You just get them. Mm. I mean, I reuse my bags. Yeah, I did too. When was the last time you ever, like... I have so many bags. You're like, dang it, I gotta take this bag back home. <laughs> no, you're not gonna wrap yourself up in the burrito. Just wait, you might see a dog wrapped up in a burrito. A whole family wrapped up in a burrito. Okay, this just got really weird, didn't it? <laughs> how's, it how's y'all wearing a burrito blanket weird? I... I could say something that could make it even weirder, but I'm gonna leave that one alone. Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas, guys. That was, that was good. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. And Happy to God. our listeners. Go to hell. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How dare you listen to this? <laughs> Remember last year when we had New Year's resolutions where we were going to be more disrespectful? I forgot until now. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, we still got about five minutes left. I was going to say, I thought we had to get back to work. I was trying to pad out my time. Uh... Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy your gifts. Hey, look at this. Uh, new critical flick movie review. Hashtag Bardo. He's yeah. Bardo. Does that sound familiar? It's a really weird man being apparently very hey, cool. Today I'm giving my quick thoughts on Bardo coming soon to Netflix. So Sick. The Just for the listener, uh, right now what we're doing is we are uh, talking playing. over a video. <laughs> we're talking over a video, but um, we're commenting on Brian. <laughs> but uh, I, I've never seen Marshall so bright and excited. <laughs> Looking good, bud. <laughs> we hope you hear it, Brian. This is why you guys don't hang out with me outside of work, huh? <laughs> uh, too funny. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, uh, anybody got anything to plug or shout out? Uh, Bad Bombs Christmas. Death, so check it out. you watched it? Yeah. <laughs> and actually, I uh, I watched it over the course of like three nights. And I kept falling asleep. Not because it was boring, but yeah. just because it was yeah, late. Kind of, yeah. Um, but yeah. And there was something else I was going to uh, shout out too, but I forgot. But yeah, definitely Bad Moms Christmas. Yeah. Two's not as good, but one is good. There's Bad Moms Sounds Christmas good. too? Yeah. Two, two bad moms Christmas. Yes. Uh-huh. Not just wasn't there just a bad moms? Yes. That's separate. Yeah. No, no, no. There's bad moms. Oh, Christmas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two different. Ones. Two different, right? Yes. Okay. 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 That's yeah. why I got confused. But so really. are in those two though? Are those with the same cast? Yes. Uh huh. Same cast. Yes. Yeah. Oh well, it's good cast. It's good cast. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, the well got anything to uh, shout out? Shout out Critical Flick. Okay. Keep keep going there and subscribe. Cool. On YouTube. 
Uh, I'm going to shout out. You should shout out your YouTube channel. My own YouTube channel because I'm self centered. <laughs> it's Marshall Johnson. <laughs> Still haven't figured out how to change the name. But uh, at this point, I've gone too far. Did I've got I almost 20. you how to do that? <laughs> you did, and I still couldn't figure it out. Oh, my God. You overestimate my intelligence. Uh, oh, my gosh. I got distracted. <laughs> uh, I got about almost 20 videos out now of recipes, so wow. hopefully y'all like recipes. That's awesome. You always start in the fridge. I always start in the fridge. I open it up and I close it. What's up, guys? What up, my dudes? <laughs> I did think about a different intro for that, where I would be like, "What about all you guys, gals, and non-binary pals?" But nice, hey, that's uh, my wife liked that one. I thought it was that's nice. a good one. Yeah, yeah. I might, yeah. I might rotate that in there. Try it and see, like, what kind of see how it feels. See how the listeners react. See if I that. get canceled immediately. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm being inclusive or offensive. That's yeah. the problem. Hey, it's like a day in the life of oh. anybody right now. Right? Shout out to this format that we're doing the podcast in now. Uh, listeners, yes. if you're wondering when we're going back to the regular format, I don't whenever know, we get bored of this, <laughs> I don't know like how to even go back to that regular format. It's basically we so we evolved from debate me coward into a whole to, show that's essentially that. To, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so the whole show has been an evolved version of debate me. I was, say, I was lucky; I never got a hot chip. So really, yeah. Mm. Oh, I like the hot I chips. I just thought about that. <laughs> um. Shout out to Doritos Roulette Chips. We will keep using them until they are gone, I yeah. guess. Keep producing those. Um, Noelle will be hosting next week, so congratulations to Noelle. Are we and, doing it next week? Or the next time we do it, she'll be hosting, which, mm. as host, you get to change the format of the show to whatever you want. All right, I'm going to put a lot of thought into this. Fair enough. Sounds good. You can do the same thing, or we can go back to the old I one. I cannot wait to win. There. I just want to win one week. That way I can just come up with topics. I thought you had me, Ted. I thought um, you did, too, until the last moment. <laughs> Damn. Anyway. Well, should have been polite. Good debating. Good yeah, debating. Good I'm a stickler for manners. I did get a little, like, competitive there. Yeah. I, I can tell it's starting to get personal. I was like, God bless it. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> I'm very angry about blue, though. It's starting to get personal. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to wrap it up for us today. I've been your host for this week, Marshall. And I'm Justin. And I'm Noel. And, uh, yeah, you can catch us wherever you found this. Um, you'll figure it out. Doodles. 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 Oh, man, good stuff. Good job. Good job. Stupid. Good job, yes. yes. Yeah, you got really, really up in my face there. <laughs> a little scary. About Pluto? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>